Hey, this is Smithy for Spurred on TV, and I'm about to name my all-time Spurs Premier League 11, and it's not as easy as you think. Right, we'll start off in goal, obviously. Uh, I am going to go with, in my opinion, the greatest Tottenham goalkeeper of all time, and that is our current keeper, Hugo Lloris. I'd like to mention Paul Robinson as well, who was quality, England's number one at the time. But in terms of sheer ability, technique, he's our club captain. He's a world-class shot stopper. Hugo Lloris is in sticks. Right, as you probably can tell, the controversy is going to come quite early on in this feature, because my right back, I did consider Carl Walker, who I do rate highly, but in terms of how long he was at the club, how well he played, I know he left on bad terms, but he was a quality player and he scored a worldie against Man United. Stephen Carr gets me nod for right back. Right, the two centre backs, one of them was the easiest decision I've had to make in the entire team and the other one was probably the hardest decision I've had to make. The first one, it isn't Stuart Nethercott, it is of course the captain, the legend that is. He's only got one knee, he's better than John Terry, Ledley King, who is also my captain of the team. I mean, what a player, what a man. He never trained, he had one knee, and he used to go out and get steamboated on the odd occasion. He'd still play on Saturdays and get man of the match every week. World class, that tackle on Arjen Robin is still my favorite ever tackle. Ledley King is my first centre half. Right, the second centre half, this was a really tough decision. I would like to single out Toby Alderweireld here, who I think is absolute class but he hasn't been at Spurs long enough to make it into my all-time 11. So it is a toss-up between Dawson and Woodgate. And I know a lot of you would go with Dawson, who I love. Probably one of my most loved Spurs players because of his passion, his heart, his desire. But for ability, and because he gave me one of my favourite ever Spurs moments, scoring the winning goal in the League Cup final against Chelsea, and he was unbelievable in our Champions League year, I'm going to go with Jonathan Woodgate. Right, left back. This is really hard. Let's be honest, we haven't had many world-class left backs. Have we had any world-class left backs in the Premier League? Uh, I do love Danny Rose. He's nearly made it into my team. Uh, but other than that, look at the players we've had. Lee Young Po, Mauricio Tarico, Clive Wilson. Uh, who else is there, really, that's been that good for us. Ben Moirasu Okoto. I'm going to go with Christian Ziga because he scored one of my favourite Spurs goals, that free kick against Arsenal. I thought he was class as well. Uh, the only regret I have is he wasn't at Spurs longer than he was, but he is my left back. Right, right winger. I'm a right winger myself, so this is a position I took very seriously indeed. I did think about Darren Anderson, who was class, but let's face it, my word, how injury prone was he? So for that reason alone, I can't put him in. I am, of course, going to go with David Ginola. What a player he was. And what I loved about him was, not only was he a great player, but he absolutely absolutely loved playing for Spurs. He loved the Spurs fans, gave it his all. And also he won Player of the Year in the Premier League, playing in, a, let's be honest, quite an average Spurs team. It's very rare that a player from outside of the top four wins the Player of the Year award. He won it, he runs down the wing, he crosses it over. Whoa, whoa, my right winger is David Ginola. David Ginola, how excited are you that I picked you in my all-time Tottenham Premier League 11? Look at me, I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, I can hardly contain myself. Quality! Right, centre mid going into the spine of the team now. My first pick is, of course, Luka Modric. Uh, easy decision for me, this. It was at the time, it's very weird for me. When I was at Spurs, a lot of games, some fans, not a lot, but some would say, but he doesn't score many goals, but he doesn't assist many goals. He was on the ball more than any player I've ever seen where the Spurs shot. Everything went through him. His vision, unbelievable. And let's not forget, he recently made it into the FIFA World Team of the Year. He's a boss in it for Real Madrid. He starts every game for Real Madrid. Uh, easy choice for me, centre mid, Luka Modric. My other centre mid was a little bit tricky. I did think about Michael Carrick, who I think is an unbelievable pass with the football. Uh, Deli Ali, I've got to mention him, but he has only been at Spurs for half a season, but what a player he will be. I have instead gone with na 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 Rafa van der Vaart, because I absolutely love the guy. You can't sing na 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 Michael Carrick firstly, the song doesn't fit. Secondly, he nutmegged Jack Wiltshire, turned around to tell Jack Wiltshire he'd nutmegged him. What a man. He told the Arsenal fans to be quiet when he scored against them. He always scored against Arsenal. Scored one of my favourite ever goals against Inter Milan. He was absolute class and I wish we'd never sold him. Rafa, if you're watching, I love you. Right, left wing, this is an easy decision. He was born to play for Spurs. Well, until Real Madrid bid 86 million and then he left. But until then he was. Uh, Gareth Bale, easy decision. What's crazy about this is he did go an unbelievable amount of games without winning a game for Tottenham. We nearly sold him to Nottingham Forest for three and a bit million. Can you imagine if Gareth Bale was at Forest now? He would rip it up. But he's no longer at Spurs. He is the world's most expensive player. That season he had in a Spurs shirt before we sold him. Every week he scored for us world-class goals as well. What a player. Gareth Bale, easy decision, left midfield. Time to pick my strikers, and this is an area that has been very hard to pick from because we have had, let's face it, some unbelievable strikers. We may not have bought many good left backs in our time, but we have signed some brilliant strikers. We've had Robbie Keane, we've had Klinsman, we've had Sheridan, we've had Kane, Defoe, Berbatov, Gregor, well no, maybe not Gregor Raziak, but the rest of them, 
all top quality. I am going to pick my first striker as Jürgen the German, Mr Klinsmann himself. At the time we signed him, let's be honest, we weren't a great team. He was one of the biggest signings in Premier League history at the time. To get a player like that into the Premier League was unbelievable. He's a World Cup winner, scored some unreal amount of goals for us. Uh, he's a big part of my childhood. So Klinsman gets the nod for me first striker. And to partner Jürgen up front in my all-time Spurs 11, I'm going to go with Edward Teddy Sheringham. What I loved about Teddy was he wasn't particularly quick, he wasn't particularly strong, he wasn't particularly great in the air. He was an all-round great footballer. He read the game so, so well and scored so many great goals. He left Tottenham and he came back again because he loves the club. Great servant for club and country. Teddy Sheringham gets my nod up front. So that's it. That is my all-time Spurs Premier League 11. It wasn't easy picking. Uh, let us know what you think of the team and your selection in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and check out at Spurred on TV on Twitter. And for more football features, check out Soccer M's YouTube channel. Hey, this is Smithy for Spurred on TV and I'm about to tell you my top five Tottenham Hotspur FA Cup moments.